thank you. Well, let's get reaction now from Iraq to the attacks on Kurdish targets from Iran. Ali Hashim is live in Baghdad for us. And what's the response been there? Well, Tom, until the moment, there is no official statement from the Iraqi government with respect to these uh, attacks. It's been like five days now since the shelling has started. The Iranians are saying that it's related to a uh, Kurdish uh, separatist group trying to inf infiltrate their borders or smuggle arms into into Iran. However, today was um, a bit significant with uh, a number of casualties being reported by Kurdish officials. Uh, till the moment, there are several people injured and there are at least two killed, as we understood from uh, the news reports we were following. So this is for now the situation. The, 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 the shelling is um, in different areas. Uh, as, as I said, five days of shellings. Today, there were different uh, um, areas shelled and and uh, according to the Iranians, these are uh, positions or bases that uh, are um, uh, for the Kumala group, uh, which is a Kurdish separatist group, and, and other also other uh, uh, militant group that's uh, fighting from the Iraqi uh, uh, borders. So at least for now, this is what we have. There are uh, uh, expectations that the number of casualties might raise, as we heard from uh, the Kurdish officials. And uh, Iraq's parliament is meeting for the first time since the recent series of protests today, isn't it? Well, yes, and it seems that today is the beginning of uh, the, the new escalation in the Iraqi political uh, scene, as we can see. These people behind me are pro uh, Muqtada Sadr supporters who are uh, today uh, protesting in, in Tahrir Square. And this protest is related to the parliamentary session that's expected to vote. The parliament is expected to vote on the resignation of the uh, parliament speaker, Mohammed Al Halbousi. Mohammed Al Halbousi was a Muqtada Sadr ally, but it seems he's trying to inch himself away from this alliance in order to, jo to join the rival alliance uh, and this is um, uh, prompting these uh, pro muqtada sadr uh, protesters to come to the streets mainly here in tahrir square the numbers aren't quite big but um, uh, over the, the the coming hours maybe this number will get bigger there were some uh, some uh, attempts by the protesters to throw stones on the security forces in order to uh, cross to the uh, what they well, what's known here as Al Jumhuriya Bridge. However, the security forces uh, prevented them from, from doing that. Of course, now we, this is the end of September by in, in two, three days. The 1st of October is, is uh, the day when uh, there are going to be widespread protests in Iraq to commemorate the anniversary of the October 2019 deadly protests. And this, this same square, Tahrir Square, is expected to be full of people. OK, thank you so much for that update. That's Ali Hashim in Baghdad for us. India's government has banned a...